Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install texture packs and resource packs in Minecraft 1.16.2 We're going to be going over every single step of getting texture packs and resource packs from downloading them, how to find them And even how to use like older resource packs like ones from 1.16 or 1.16.1 and 1.16.2 Because technically they're going to say they're incompatible but I'm going to show you how to use them anyway And show them then show you why they say they're incompatible So we're going to be going over all that in this video First and foremost though we do have a much more sponsor which is a Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start an incredible Minecraft server for you, your friends, and anyone else you want to play on your server. It is 100% DDoS protected. It is hosted on Apex's hardware, I meaning you don't have to worry about it, you know, using your computer's resources or anything like that. And on top of that, they have incredible 24 hour support. We love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start an amazing Minecraft server with incredible hardware, incredible support, and just amazing compatibility behind you, check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown .xyz slash apex nevertheless let's go ahead and get some texture packs and resource packs so what we want to do here is actually go to this link now this link right here is in the description down below it's the second link down below the breakdown .xyz slash rp and it stands for resource packs by the way it's going to take you here now these are resource packs and texture packs because resource packs and texture packs are the exact same thing right resource packs are basically the new name the renamed version of texture packs from back way back in the day with minecraft but most people a lot of people still call them texture packs some people call them resource packs so it's both in this video but nevertheless all of these here are compatible for 1.16 technically they're not compatible for 1.16.2 just yet i mean this video just came out we will update this list every single day until you know everything is up to date but right now i'm going to show you that you don't have to have a 1.16.2 pack in order for this to work so the 1.16.2 packs and the 1.16 packs are going to install the exact same way it's just they change the version number basically of resource packs whenever they updated to 1.16.2 so with this we're going to be installing doku craft today we're going to go ahead and install sfax pure bd craft and i'm just right clicking and opening these in the new tab right up here at the top just because it's easier um, let's see, so we have, this is more of a cartoony pack, this is more of a medieval pack. I'm going to try to get a few different things here. Um, then we have the creator pack, this is a cool pack. But uh, actually we'll go with Firewolf HD 3D here. And then we'll grab an old favorite of mine, which is going to actually be Faithful right down here. This is the one that I typically use, so go ahead and get that one installed. And let's see, anything else? I think we're good there. But anyway, so we have these four resource packs we're going to install. Some of them will take you to their own dedicated tutorials on our website. When you're here, click on the download button there. And it'll take you off to the website. Now, DokuCraft Lite is currently the only one that's up to date for 1.16. I will say I would recommend only using a 1.16, 1.16.1, or 1.16.2 version of the resource pack that you're wanting to install. So in this case, DokuCraft Lite here. Once you click on that, you can click on download pack right there for Minecraft Java Edition. This is for Java Edition 1.16. Boom, and it will download in the bottom left, right like so. Boom, there we go. Now, we can also do this for Sfax here. Just scroll down, click on this yellow download Sfax button. And then on this site, we going to be doing it a little differently. So we're going to be scrolling down here. And then you want to select the version you want. In our case, it's going to be 1.16. And then once you select 1.16, you can select the, you know, kind of resolution you want it to be. And you can actually see what that looks like. So this one's a lot more blocky. This one's a lot more smooth. I find that like 128 is kind of a happy medium. However, if you have a bad computer, your computer doesn't perform well, low graphics, stuff like that, you might want to go with the 16X. If you have a really good dedicated graphics card, you know, newest NVIDIA stuff or newest AMD graphics cards, you can go with 512 probably without much of a problem. We're going to go with 128 in this case. Click on download there. You can either become a supporter and download with no ads or click download with ad. If you download with ad, it's going to take you off here where you want to click on accept terms of use, right? Basically, you agree to their terms of use here. We do accept terms of use. And then it's going to take us off here where the download will begin after 13 seconds. Basically, this is their version of kind of like an ad fly link, but I like it a lot more because you never leave their website and it seems to be a lot, you know, more, I don't know, just, it seems to be better. Simple as that. It seems to be better. So anyway, whenever this hits zero, this download button appears, this blue download button, click on that and the download will begin in the bottom left now firewolf hd this one's a bit different yet again and the fact that this is actually a 1.15.2 pack now the reason i wanted to select this pack is because this is going to show you what happens whenever you install a very old pack in this newer version so this one is going to be a little more glitchy but i wanted to show you anyway so we're going to go ahead and click on this download button over here on the right hand side this is an older version it's for 1.15.2 but again that is okay I'm doing that on purpose. Now we're going to, last but not least, download Faithful here. Faithful is up to date, so we can go ahead and click on that yellow Download Faithful button. Take us over to here where we want to click on the right-hand side, Faithful X32. And then once we click on that, we'll be able to see Faithful 1.16.2. So that one is actually up to date 
fully up to date and ready and compatible, which is good because that's what I wanted to show you. So anyway, once you've clicked on that version of Faithful, so we click on Faithful X32 on the left-hand side, clicked on Faithful 1.16.2, you can then scroll down to the bottom and you'll see this download of Faithful 1.16.2, blue download button. When you click on that, it will download automatically in the bottom left, right like so. Now finally, finally, if we minimize our browser here, we have on our desktop, DokuCraft, PureBD Craft, then we have Firewolf, which is, like I said, going to be a little glitchy because it's an older pack. And then Faithful, which is completely up to date to the newest version. I've also got all these unconfirmed files that you won't have. However, what if these aren't on your desktop? Well, not worry. No worries. It's okay. They're going to be in your downloads folder. To find that, click on the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen. Click on that little Windows icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. And then go ahead and type in downloads, right like so. You'll have this downloads file folder. Click on that, and in here you will be able to find all of the resource packs you downloaded. You can drag them to your uh, desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and get these installed in Minecraft. So to do that, you wanna go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. Then obviously we wanna open up the uh, 1.16.2 version, which is currently the latest release version. And once we're in game, it's pretty easy to install these. It's literally just clicking a few buttons. You may need to restart Minecraft before 1.16. You never had to restart Minecraft. However, after you did, and I've actually not tested it in 1.16.2 yet. Um, I went ahead and tested packs I already had installed earlier to see how the compatibility worked. But nevertheless, once you're here, you want to go ahead from the Minecraft main menu and click on options. And then you have this resource packs tab here. See that resource packs tab? Click on that. And then what you want to do is click on the open pack folder button here, where it says open pack folder. Click on that. And then you want to take all the resource packs from your desktop and drag them into this folder. So in our case, that is going to be Doku Craft, PureBD Craft, Firewolf, which again, that one's going to have issues, and Faithful, which is going to have full compatibility. So let's go ahead and drag and drop those in. Now, if we come back to Minecraft, these have appeared automatically except for Faithful, which is interesting because Faithful is actually going to be a bit different. So if you go ahead and unzip Faithful, which normally you don't have to do this, but only Faithful you do. So you right-click on Faithful, and then you click on Extract All, and then go ahead and click Extract. It's then going to create this like other folder on your desktop. It's going to take it a second to do this, so I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut, and I will see you once it's finished. There we go. It is now finishing up extracting. Boom, and it opens like this. Now you'll have this Faithful 116.2. Click on that, and then in here you should see things like pack.png, pack.mc meta, all of that stuff. If you do, what you want to do is take this folder here, right, just this folder, and drag and drop it into the resource packs folder. You can delete the Faithful zip file that you installed earlier. For some reason, Faithful is the only pack that you have to do this with, but it is one of those things that you have to do with Faithful, and I don't know why, but I'm glad we're covering it here. It's something that you can do. Make sure that whenever you open up your, your, fol your folder, your zip file even, you immediately see these fo files, like pack.mc meta specifically. For example, if you open up DokuCraft, here we will automatically see pack.mc meta right away when we open that, pack.mc meta. There it is, boom, see? That's how that works. So now we have Faithful installed. If we come back over here to Minecraft, we'll be able to see it. there is Faithful. It has appeared, and as I said, full compatibility. So Faithful, in any pack that is updated to 1.16.2, will be like this. It won't have this red box around it, and it's very easy. Just click over, like click that little arrow, that little arrow that points it to the, you know, right over there, this arrow. Click on that. Over here to Selected. Click Done. Boom. Your resource pack is installed. It's that quick, that simple, and that easy. However, however, and there you go, it changed the texture there change some of the textures here, all that stuff. However, what if you want to use a pack that's not yet updated? Well, that's actually okay. So to uninstall or re remove a resource pack from Minecraft, it doesn't remove it completely. It just allows you to unselect it and select a new one. Just click on this uh, little arrow right here. And now let's go ahead and add over PureBD Craft. So let's go ahead and click on this arrow here. And that's going to warn us. This is a pack was made for an older version and may no longer work correctly. That's okay, right? If it's a 1.16 or 1.16.1 resource pack, that's going to be fine. Older packs like Firewolf, which we'll look at here in a second, can cause some more issues. So are you sure you want to proceed? Yes, we do. Now this is over here in the selected resource pack. Click on done. It's going to reload everything and you'll immediately see that this is completely different looking Minecraft here. Boom, completely different. Now though, if we go into single player, I've got this test world here. And the reason I have this test world is I want to show you what's not compatible, right? So everything here is is. I mean, not like it is good, right? As you can see, all this sand, everything here, it looks good. The only thing that might risk not being compatible is this right here. That's it. And actually, in this pack, it does look like it's changed. Oh, is he chasing after me? That's, that's weird. But anyway, this is the uh, Piglin Brute, and this is a brand new mob for 1.16.2. And that's the only change and the only reason that these packs got a new pack version. 
Um, that's why it's okay to run packs that aren't compatible technically with 1.16.2 because this is the only texture you may be missing out on. Now, let's, let's go ahead and install one more here. We can do this with uh, Doku Craft. Now, once you're in game, you can uninstall resource packs just like I just did, right? So to do that, you just move them over with that like X. And then to install them, you actually click this green check mark, right? So we're gonna go ahead and install Doku Craft with that green check mark. Are you sure you want to load this pack? Yes, we do, we know we're fine. And then we can go ahead and click done, right? So click done there. So th those textures did change for us. I think that's actually due to the resource pack, but anyway, nevertheless, that's what that is. As you can see, we have the arrows back now, but just click on the arrow, move it back and forth in game, and it works just the same. As you can see, everything is reloaded now, except these are the default textures. So that's what they are by default. They are not updated for the uh, resource pack that we have on right now. And that's okay, because that's the only texture that is not updated. Everything else is updated. For example, if we fly over here and look at uh, look at this uh, water wheel, boom, all of those textures look medieval, look good, look nice, and same thing over here with this. All of those look nice as well. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and do one more thing, and that's going to be install Firewolf. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go back to the main menu for this because when you're installing an older resource pack, this might actually crash the game, <laughs> to be honest. This is a very old resource pack. You don't want to ever use one this old, but sometimes you can. So Firewolf is 1.14. We're going to go ahead and click it over. This pack's made for an older version. That is fine. Boom, and then click done. It's going to then reload Minecraft, just like it always has. And as you can see, it actually has activated here. But if we go ahead and jump back into our single player world here, you're going to be able to see that most of the stuff is working, but some stuff isn't, right? So this texture right here is not going to be working. Any of the 1.16 or 1.15 textures aren't going to be working either. For example, if we go ahead and get any of these, like, you know, this crimson uh, crimson planks or, you know, the, the, the warp stems and all this stuff that, that was added in 1.15, I mean, it's going to be very, very different looking. As you can see, they don't really, doesn't necessarily match. So yeah, that's that's kind of what you can look forward to, and that's kind of what happens. Now, in the case of Firewolf HD, it does work in this older version, or in this newer version, even though it's an older texture pack. That's okay, but um, it is something you want to make sure that you're aware of, that you want to mostly be using 1.16 and 1.16.2, 1.16 to 1.16.2 resource packs for the least amount of bugs possible. But anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching. That is how you can install resource packs and texture packs in Minecraft 1.16.2. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your new resource packs and texture packs. They can really make Minecraft a lot more fun. Take it to the next level. But anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.